Greetings. So this is a water electrolyzer which tests the purity of water and throws up the impurities. My brethren Asha sent me a video of a female in London, South London, um, who did, who used the same equipment to test distilled water and tap water. Um, the video led to me buying a water distiller, um, which I've made a separate video about. So if you watch this, try and watch that one and subscribe if you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same test that she did with water that I've distilled in my water distiller and tap water. But additionally, I'm also going to test boiled tap water and bottled water. Um, I've been drinking boiled tap water for, for a long time, so hopefully it's not as bad as tap water, but I don't expect it to be great either. So I'm going to set things up and then start. So there's two glasses of water here. The one on the left is my distilled water from my distiller and the one on the right is tap water. So I'm going to immerse the electrolyzer equally in both of them. Switch it on at the mains and then switch this switch here. So that's it switched on now, so we should see something happening pretty soon. The female that did the video that I watched, she kept them in there for approximately two to three minutes, so I'm going to do the same. So the first thing I can see, I don't know if you can, um, is that the distilled water is still and not bubbling, whereas the tap water is starting to bubble already and cloud. So I'm just going to keep it focused on there so you can see. I will also take you through what the colours of the water mean in terms of the impurities because I've listed them all down here. <clears throat> so we're coming up to a minute and already the tap water is dirty. The distilled water is still clear and not even bubbling. That looks pretty bad already, as it did in the video that I watched previously. I'm going to bring it round so you can have a side view. I don't know if you can see there the colours that are appearing in the water and there are actually lumps appearing in the water also. But you've got green in there, you've got blue in there, and you've got black in there, and some yellow also. So we're coming up to two minutes. I'm going to leave it in there for another minute. The water from the tap water is very hot and the glass is very hot now. The water, the distilled water is cool as when I put it in there. It's starting to boil now so I'm going to switch it off and we can analyse the colours. So, there's your tap water. <clears throat> as I say, you've got yellow on the top which is yellow denotes acids, fluoride and other organic matters. <clears throat> You've got green and blue in there. Green is for arsenic, which in case you don't know is a poison, and also indicates the presence of mercury, lead, copper and sodium. Blue is for bacteria, viruses, carcinogens, which are cancer-causing, chemical fertilizers, pesticides. Black dirt indicates heavy metal. So that's not good at all. 
red denotes iron and rust. So you've got a bit of orangey red on top there. So that's pretty disgusting. As I said, it led to me buying a distiller, which is a drastic measure and an expensive one also. But what price your health? So, because not everybody can afford £214 for a high-end water distiller, I'm now going to test bottled water and boiled tap water to see if it's any better. Ja, Rastafari. I've cleaned off the electrolyzer, but if you look at the two electrolyzer poles on the left, which were in the tap water, one has stayed black even after cleaning, the other one is a bit cloudy but not too bad, whereas the ones in the distilled water are clean. So I'm going to use that in a second. So over here now I've got bottled water, um, which isn't an expensive brand such as Evian or whatever. This is actually Lidl's um, water, bottled water. And in this glass here, I've got boiled tap water, which as I said, I've been drinking for years. And I'm really concerned as to how bad that might show up. Anyhow, I'm going to set things up again, and we're going to go again. Okay, so I've got two poles immersed in each glass, and the electrolyzer is ready to switch on, first at the mains, and then on the tap. So again, I'm going to leave it for two odd minutes. Um, right, so, straight away, Unfortunately, I can see that the boiled tap water has started bubbling just as the tap water had. Whereas the distilled water, um, sorry, the bottled water is bubbling also, um, which is unexpected. Anyway, that's not a minute gone yet. Um, the boiled tap water is bubbling more than the bottled water but I wouldn't have expected the bottled water to bubble much at all so that's a minute gone colour wise you can see that not very good some red some green some white in the boiled tap water but also there's colour in the bottled water, not as pronounced or as deep, but there's definitely some yellowy red stuff there, which isn't good. Time-wise, we're coming up to 1 minute 45 seconds, and if we look into the boiled tap water, that is not doing well at all. We've got the ready yellow stuff on top now, which as I said denotes rust and the like and the presence of metals. We've got the green for the arsenic um, and we're at two minutes now and the bottle water is not doing well at all either. It's not as bad, agreed, but it's still very yellowy and very red. Again, the tap water has heated up to a point where I need to switch it off because I don't want to break off the glass. Um, the bottled water is not as hot, but it has warmed up. So, let's just analyse the results. Yeah, so this is your bowl tap water, which... I'm really pissed at because I thought boiling water would like really help it in terms of purity or well, clearly it doesn't and that's what I've been drinking for the last I don't know how many years 20 years so I'm gonna give that up because anyway let me finish so this one is the bottled water which as you can see has the red and the yellow in it 
which is not good. So yellow denotes, denotes fluoride and other organic matters and acids. And the red denotes iron and rust bacterial. So, as I said, I've been drinking boiled water for a long time now. So I'm going to stop that now and just use distilled water which had no reaction in the electrolyzer at all. So that's as pure as you can get. Um, if you can't afford a distiller, then I suggest you buy bulk distilled water. Um, because really that's the only solution, judging by these tests that I've done. Now, just a point. If um, the powers that be wanted to give us all COVID and give us all certain diseases, either to limit the population, keep the NHS going, or whatever, what would be the easiest way to do it universally? Clearly, it's through the water. Not everybody eats the same, but everybody drinks the same water, more or less. So there you are. Um, do have a look at my distiller video, if you want to invest in one. You don't have to get the one I got. I got an expensive one, it was £214, but they do start at around £50-60. Well worth investing in, um, yeah, for your health. So hopefully I'm going to be even healthier than I am now, having stopped now drinking tap water of any sort, boiled or not, and I'm not drinking any bottled water anyway, because that hasn't come out any better. Hope this is a value to you all. Jarastafari.